Hello Nuggets. Do you recall, my friends, <clears throat> how I said I felt we were on the verge of a bit of a collapse? Well, yeah, that happened. Kinda, it's only been two games, but we got thrashed by Torquay United, who were in ninth place, and I mean we got demolished. I mean, they they could have scored more. Um, it's a little odd, this doesn't... I kind of wish this showed. It does. So this seems to happen a lot, though. So look at this. They got one less shot on target. They got more off target. We got the same clear-cut chances. We got the same half chances. And they just edged the possession. This is one of the worst performances that we've had. And yet we were still really close. The problem is we don't put them in the net. So even when we're getting close, we can't finish the deal. And then we drew 1-1. One, one, one all with Hemel Hempstead. And we had the same problem again, which is, look, they had six shots, two on target. We had 21 shots, eight on target. We only had two half chances, no clear-cut chances, and they edged the possession again. But again, we're into this situation where we just can't seem to put the ball in the back of the net. So it's driving me a bit nuts. So I started paying a little bit more attention to the scouting reports, thinking, well, maybe, because... We're, we're up for the FA Trophy first round. Board expects us to get to second round. We just had the draw, and we drew Dagenham and Redbridge, who are the division above us. So, <laughs> Daddy Cool could be in trouble with the board. I'm just saying, you know, this is going to be a hard one to win. Um, we're at home, which again means absolutely nothing. But we're at home against them, and uh, we'll have to see how we do. There's not many changes really here. Uh, as you can see, I've been playing the 4-4-2. Uh, Cameron's just just fallen apart, absolutely fallen apart. He's just he can't hit the ball. He's missing goals left and right. Depot at least is getting into the right position, but he can't put it in the back of the net. Dan Thompson can occasionally get close to putting it in the back of the net but the problem is he's always either nervous or frustrated or angry or like he's all over the place this kid um Essamon requested that we terminate his loan because we weren't playing him enough the whole thing's going a little bit wobbly basically what i'm saying um the fans were complaining about teddy bloor not playing well enough um which compared to the rest of the team is bollocks because he's actually playing pretty well uh but we're gonna give ming a run out today um, I think I'm going to try playing Cook over here. I think I'm, I'm thinking of dropping Cook. See, the thing is that, look, Cook, when he has a bad game, is it's a, it's a horrible game, right? Clunis overall actually says Cook is playing better than Clunis here, if I look at the average. But anyway, look, what I'm thinking of doing is bringing in Georgiou, right? So bring Georgiou because we're going to play the 4-4-2, right? Except that he's not... That's not his best position. Let's see if I make a difference. It's the same, right? It's the same. Look, winger support, attacking midfielder or midfielder left, it's the same attribute. So I'm thinking of bringing him in as the, win the winger um, and then either playing Cook or Clunis over here. Uh, Clunis is at 96, Cook is at 96. So they're, you know, much of a muchness, as they say. Um, how's Chambers doing? Chambers, they've all been playing average at best. You know, it's just dropping off. I feel it really dropping off. That 4-2 thrashing really didn't help us. Um, Dan Thompson's on his way out, but no one wants to buy him. Just a little bit worrying. Has any, any offers come in? No. I'm sure the player is sold on a promise. Not much I can do about that, mate. I'm trying. No one wants you. Someone wants Wiggy. But I think Wiggy's on... Uh, not on a contract. Yeah. It's not on a contract. <laughs> it's just... It's an appearance fee. Oh, well, you can have him. We brought in this kid on um, trial. Uh, he actually looks pretty good. His attributes are nice. Uh, we can't afford him. <laughs> I'm just buying time, putting people on the shortlist until we actually have some money. Uh, anything else here? We played Zayin Hakim. Just played even worse. He's horrible, this guy. Manager's still complaining at me, saying, why aren't you playing him? He, I, why, I'm hoping that he wants to terminate his loan like Esselman did. I didn't want to turn, terminate Esselman, so I had to promise him time on, uh, the, on the pitch. Why can't this guy come up to me and say, I want to terminate? So I can say, yes, go, go, 
Fuck off. Drive me nuts. Vose is back into training and select, uh, I'm going to be selecting him for under 18, so that's pretty good. Uh, he's actually made a big jump since last time I looked at him. So, you know, he might be back earlier than I thought. Um, anything else here? Squire Ferguson. How's Ferguson looking? He's not playing well, is he? Let's, let's pull him off. See, Karu's still got his 7.26. Let's give that a go. Maybe Cookie's better on the right. It's his natural position. Yeah, all right. It is worrying how much we've just suddenly kind of just fallen apart, you know. Good news is they're inconsistent. But, uh, yeah, I think that the board are going to be pissed off. I wonder if you can get two of the... Uh, well, we understand it was a difficult draw. That's why you were out of both cups. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know about that. I can only hope so. Oh, look, Carrie's our star player, apparently. I think that's what that means, isn't it? I don't know what that means. It's gonna be. Anyone here we can poach? No one who's going to want to come to us. Seriously. Oh, team talk. Why aren't we put as underdogs? Let's show all the pundits. There we go. Why aren't we as underdogs? I think we had such a good start to the season and the media prediction said we're going to be in playoffs. Everyone's like, yeah, these guys are great. How little they know. All right, Green, out to Georgiou. Come on, Georgiou. Make something happen for his son. Green, to Karu, to Squire. Go on, Squire. It's all right, son. It's good, good. One shot off target, better than nothing. What's going on here? Depot. Terrible header. Come on, close him down. Rooney. Take his legs. Hmm. Come on, hustle up. Ooh, a little back heel. Oh, take him out for that. It's all right, keep him on long shots. That's all right, we can deal with that. Long shots are okay. Where are we at? One shot, one shot, no chances. Not much going on. We have the edge on the possession. It's only 10 minutes, though. All right, who's playing a 6.1? <laughs> Anyone? Yep. Yeah. Anyone falling off the end of the world? Come on, Karen. Good delivery, son. Oh, what a hitter. Oh, that was a blinder. Oh, you got robbed there. Both off the woodwork. Yeah, I definitely don't want to go up this season. Not with this current squad. Not with the finances the way they are. They're driving nuts. The only player who wants to leave will only give us £140 a week back, which is just not enough to make a difference. I've got all of these players in the shortlist, and I'm scouting all of these players, and I'm like, I don't need any of them. I wish I hadn't signed all these scouts. I don't know why I did, because I can't use them, you know? Uh, I'm going to actually think I'm going to put nothing happening in this half. Let's keep it that way. I don't want anything. Oh, Cook. There we go, son. Beautiful. Aren't you on the wrong side, Cook? Thompson. Come on, do something. Do something with your life, boy. Oh, follow up. Yes, Squire. Good stuff, Squire. Maybe I keep Squire on and I rotate Ferguson and Caro. You know, because I'm really putting Caro in there for his, his set pieces and his delivery. And they are good. But we're not scoring many from set pieces, so... Squire. Good stuff. Can't remember what I was saying now. Yeah, isn't Cook supposed to be on the other side? What happened there? That was left, he was running down the left. Do you forget, mate? Uh, ten, ten, point? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I can't remember. Say, I wish I could rewind the video right now, but I can't. Green, Cook, Squire, Carry, Georgie, Thompson, Depot. Yeah, we got to get a striker in. Yeah, not wanting to go up. Got to clear up. We need to get some money back before we go up. Cook's on a yellow. Always makes me nervous. He argues with rest. Oh, we are trying to get argues with rest, but I went to the coach and said, let's get rid of this. And he went, ah, it's never going to work. So I asked him what he suggested, and he just, some random, well, run on the right. Make him run down the right. And at the time, we were playing inside forward on the left. 
So I said, no, do what I said. And he went, all right, it's never going to work. I think he's right, it's never going to work. It's going to be four minutes. I should be making subs here. I'm just ignoring it, letting it go on. Wait, oh, why isn't it paused? Oof. Um, Karu's looking a bit tired. Okay, okay, Karu. Maybe we should shore up here. What do you think? Nathan Ferguson coming on. Actually, that's not shoring up. Let's play. We got one Korea already. Let's put you. Hmm. Let's try you and Mets support. Yeah, Cook's on the right. He's not playing wrong. Ming, how's our back four looking? Ming's looking a little tired. Bloor, come in, freshen him up. Chambers is looking a little tired. Quaid, come in and freshen him up. Don't screw it up. I always worry that I'm going to be the cause of it. Well, of course I'm, I'm the manager, but I'm going to ruin it all with my subs. You never know. Have we deserved this? Barely. But again, you see how we're a little bit above them all? Every match. Almost every match. Except for that 4-0 hammering, mullering that we took. Other than that, it's all been very poor. Very poor. Yeah. 1-0. Against the team above us. I just remembered that. Go on, boys! That's actually a great result. <laughs> I totally forgot that. Because they're so close to us. Oh, I, just, I forgot that. I thought they were... Oh, it's a beauty. Oh, 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 I feel good. What a nice surprise that was. Brendan Berg. Oh, what you saying? Come on, mate. Good, boy. good win, boys. Well done. Beat the teams above us. He forgot, too. Great minds think alike. That's what it is. In control. They were brushed aside, apparently. Oh, we made it through the first round. Thank God we're not going to get fired. 6K, that'll do. How are our finances? Let's see. 194. Dropping like flies. Yeah. Can I move my scouting budget across? I should be able to do that, right? Let's go to scouting. Budget. transfer budget oh hello I mean this isn't going to really change how much it just make you know what it's just going to make me feel better make budget adjustment how much will it give us like extra 50 pound a week 100 pound a week confirmed oh we're doing great guys look at that we're 175 pounds under budget let's sign someone all right, that's where we're at. Let's have a look at the schedule. Who have we got? Yes, we have got Gloucester. We should win against Gloucester. Hopefully. All right, we'll be back. So I think it's entirely possible that we just got a bad RNG number when it comes to cup draws. Because we made it to the second round with that great win over Dagnum and Redbridge. And we picked Barnet, who are in the league above us again. And there's loads of teams in... Vanarama North and South that we could have picked. We just keep getting the rough draw. And it's a home, so we don't make as much money because we don't have as many fans as they do. So, you know, and home should be better, right? You should play better at home. But you don't. I don't think you do anyway. At least not at this level, maybe when you get higher. Oh, anyway. Okay, so what's the good news? The good news is that Vose is actually playing, not in our match. He's in the under-18s, 45 minutes of action. He's recovering a lot quicker than I thought. I thought we were going to get him back in February. We might get him back mid-January, maybe even earlier. I mean, he's he's coming back really well. Um, not too many changes. I'm going back to the uh, the one three two four, the four two three one, um, because uh, I looked at the scout report and they recommended the four one four one, which we have in the bank. It's our tactic number one, but it just it doesn't it just doesn't set me on fire. I don't know. We tried it a little bit. Maybe we'll go back to it if everything starts just getting worse and worse. We're keeping Squire on. He had a great game last time. We're going to have Caro pushing up to uh, uh, the uh, advanced playmaker. Everything else pretty much the same. Giving Blore a run because Ming needs a little bit of a rest there. In fact, you know what? I'm going to give him a proper rest. So I'm not tempted to bring him on and then it doesn't count. Malvia got injured, which is fantastic. Very happy about that. That's all working out just fantastically um unfortunately hakeem did not get injured and still wants to stay with us um anything else here oh yeah someone in our this is annoying look at this so this kid here look at him look 
Five pound per week. He's on a youth contract. He's 19 years old. He's not very good. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Looks like looks like a Tie Fighter. Out of um, what was that vector graphics game back in the day? I can't remember Tempest or something like that. Um, he's not very good, and he's demanding first team football. He's not just demanding a contract; he's demanding first team football. Fuck off, mate! We ain't getting that. Um, anything else there? No, nothing else happened there. The schedule. You saw the last games. We haven't done that. We got some tough games coming up. Eastbourne is tough one slough shouldn't be too tough who says but then we play eastbourne again almost back to back and then we play bath in fifth so there could be a run here where our morale could drop uh it gets a little bit better we play hampton and east thurrock which are better but then we've that run up might be good actually because if we can beat those two we'll be full of confidence when we take on barnet and full of confidence if we beat them we'll see um Anything else to tell you about? No, I don't think that's it. I think we're, uh, we've are we got through everything. Preview, 23s. No, we pulled in an under-18 system manager because I'm starting to ramp up that side of the staff because uh, I don't know when youth intake is, but it's got to be coming up, isn't it? So I want to have a full full team when we have them, even though it feels like we're just throwing money away right now. Um, that's about it. Got everything on the bench. Carlos Edwards on the bench. Ferguson. Lewis Price to drop in for Georgiou if he needs to move out. And Depot. Yeah, we're playing Peters again. I know, I'm a sucker for punishment. Um, Thompson's just too inconsistent. I know Peters is as well. But Thompson is very frustrating to watch him play. He just does nothing than something. And if this doesn't work out, we got to go up for two up front at least. I think maybe that's our problems because two shitty... Attackers has got a striker's got to be better than one shitty striker, right? That's how the math works out in my head. Um, and maybe Peters plays better if Depot's standing next to him. We'll see. Uh, can we start the game. Can we go? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, anyone here? Oh, look, Ian Wright plays from. Love me a bit of Ian Wright, even though I hate Arsenal. Love Ian Wright. Uh, try to encourage the team. Go on, you try it then. Good luck, mate. Yeah, exactly. There is a lot more to come from you. Daddy Cool doesn't even show up to say that anymore. He just brings in a tape recorder, has someone press a button, and then goes, out. That's it. I believe in you, and there is a lot more to come from you, baby. Come on, Georgie. Oh, look at that run. Straight away, stick it in. Oh, that would have been nice, wouldn't it? Ten-second goal. Okay, we should be beating them. They're not good. Gloucester are not good, and we beat them last time, so there's no excuse, Caro. Out to Green. Come on, Green. Start realising your potential, son. To Georgiou. Caro. Out again to Green. Let's have a nice cross. Oh, nice cross. Oh, Unlucky, son. Unlucky, Clunas. Unlucky. Like that. Off the woodwork. Good start. Good possession. Oh, we're at six minutes. That's why. Caro. It's looking good so far to Squire. To Georgiou, through to Cook, who wants one. I know he does. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ooh, nice shot, son. Nice shot. Long shots, but... Look at that. They haven't had a shot yet. And here we go. Shot coming. There we go. Every time I say it. Every time I say it. We haven't had a shot for a while, and... No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work the other way around. Okay, anyone there on their side getting worried? You know what I think would help here would be a striker. Just let me just call me crazy. I don't know. I don't know where it is. I, I have a very strange approach to football. We're off the woodwork twice though. And I just I feel that, you know, having someone at the front of the team that has developed the skill of placing the ball the boot on the ball and the ball in the net, I just I don't know. I think it increases your chances dramatically. Fucking team. Do something. Block's contract is up in a few months and they're telling me to renew it, but I mean, there's no denying I want to keep him. But I just want to hold a little bit and see if he'll take something cheaper. Because if you sign him right now, they want the same wage. But then if you don't sign him right away, then you're running the risk of the price going up. So, or them wondering, right? So, right, you sign him right now, middle of the season, they want the same or they want an increase. You sign him at the end when their contract runs out, they often take a lot less. So, it's a toss-up. But of all the players we can't lose, Block Jorgensen is one of them. 
because he's good enough for the next league. I'm I'm sure of it. Well, George Esselman, you were right. I should be playing you more. You're doing well, my son. Why are you apprehensive? I just said you're doing well. Disappointing. Fucking disappointing again. Who's this? Nathan Green. I'm not I'm not even talking to you. Last time I did that, you had no response. Come on, boys. We should be beating these te these fools. These punks. These punk ass bitches should be going down. Under our majesty. Fucking shut it down. Ooh, ooh. Hey. Oi now. Come on. None of that. Peter's again putting in that dazzling performance that we're so used to seeing from him. Carrot. Yeah, you see, if he's not going to put him in, Karu, I mean, <laughs> and anyone can do that. Oh! Although I think actually the quality of the corner taker also includes the strategy. So I think those short corners are more likely if you have a better, um, you can set it to just do short corners as well. But I think it's more likely that strategically your corner taker will say, hey, we should do a short corner here. Come on, for get in there! score against us on it's getting so ugly I hate it I hate it close him down ah <sighs> do I take Cameron off or do I do two up front Nathan Green having another shitty game See, that's what I mean inconsistency that's our problem inconsistency can I switch Nathan Green out for can Bloor play over there? No. Can Carlos play over there? No. Basically, uh, Chambers can. And he's not. He's, he's resting. So there's no one. Look, there's literally no one who can play there. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's that then. Do I play two up front? Or do I just stick with going more attacking? Because two up front means i got to take... Well, how's Karu doing? Karu is Okay. Green, oh, you know about Green. Who's having a bad game? Georgiou's not having a good game. So let's take you off, Georgiou. You don't really deserve this, mate. So I apologise in advance. But we're trying tactically, tactically, I'm suggesting this might be better for us. Target man attack. Advanced playmaker, attack. Wingbacks, attack. Green. Wake up. Uh, mm hmm. Doing a lot of whining in this save. Let's stop that. Doing well. Show some passion. Doing well, he says. Uh oh. Caro. Close him down. Close him down. Close him down. Oh, for fuck's sake. No. That's not. Wait. Who is that? Blor. Blor, the fans are going to hate you, mate. They're already. Pissed at me for signing you. Oh, blurry, blurry, blurry. Bleh. So we should rename you. Damn it. Come on, Caro. Get one in. Might be getting a bit predictable, though, the short corner, mate. Squire. Belt one in. Belt one in. Esserman. Out to OK. Caro calling it. Wow, that's not very good, is it? It's funny, his delivery's good, but he can't do long shots. You would think they would be related, right? Caro's having a bad game. All right, we'll take him off. Bring on Ferguson. Uh, what do we want you in? Mazzala! Mazzala attack! Move Squire up a little bit. No, 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 no. We'll keep him there. Otherwise, we're just going to more and more. How many we got? We've got one left. Who can we bring on? We could bring on Price. That's no good. We don't need that anymore. <laughs> uh, Carlos for Bloor. Who's had a terrible game? So, yeah, let's. Where is it? Oh, there, Carlos. Bloor. Fans are going to be so pissed at you, mate. Cookie. To Clunas. Inside, yes, there we go. That gets one back. Esu man, good stuff. Let's go. Encourage, encourage. Encourage, I see them get pissed off when I encourage them. 
Hey, Block, he liked it. Come on, boys, push forward. It's Gloucester. Let's do it, come on. Demand more. Anything? Got two up front, guys. I mean, I don't see a way back for Peters in this team. I've got to be honest with you. It's just consistently fucking horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. He was a terrible loan signing. I'm surprised at the result, too. They're an awful team. Oh, my God. Assertive. Why is passionate? Why can't I be passionately angry? Assertive. You were not good enough today. Oh, I see, we needed to win that one. Okay, well, what we got coming up? Let's have a look at the... Well, let's check, see if anyone got injured. Dulles Hamlet, unlucky in defeat. doesn't matter if you think it's unlucky. We lost. We lost. We lost. We lost. Okay, what have we got coming up? We got Slough, or we got Eastbourne, Slough, Eastbourne, Bath, Hampton. That's a lot of games. I might not bring you back until Barnet. If something amazing happens in all of these games, like we go on a glory run or we go on a... No, if we go on a terrible defeat run, I won't bring you back. I'll just bring you back for Barnet. But I can't see anything amazing happening. But if it does, I'll bring you back. Other than that, we'll see you at the Barnet game. I would expect... Loss, draw, loss, loss, draw, win. Remember that. All right, you little nuggets. Have a good one. We'll see you on the next episode. Good knowledge. <laughs>